I get it. Huh? This must be connected to the Sacred Blade ruins. Because the torches and architecture are the same, huh? If I may say so, this place is oddly nostalgic. They both date from the same era. There's no way they'd keep the waterway separate. We should be able to get out through the Sacred Blade ruins. So the bustling city of Lady Lake sits right on top of an enormous network of ruins. You can find a reason to smile in any situation. Is that weird? I'm just who I am, no matter what happens. Well, fair enough. I'll give you that. Don't encourage him, Alicia. So Ray needs to realize for himself what a weirdo he really is. Anyone who hangs around with the weirdo must be pretty weird themselves, don't you think? Looked in a mirror lately? Oh my! What a beautiful maiden! Pot's calling the kettle black, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us! Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides... It doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can for the people of Highland. Alicia. The Council may laugh, but so be it. All right. Then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well... I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain. All right, let's go check on the state of the bridge. Oh, that's a curious outfit. You must be the shepherd. Yes, I'm Saray. I am Naif, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Soray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the Water Spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, that was nothing. Hey, Mr. Naif, was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the Water Spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Sarai. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the Shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind, and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, 
Is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that ferry captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well... I want to assist with the reconstruction, too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Saray. I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me. Do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning. But even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either. <laughs> man, oh man. What a bunch of amateurs. Take the heat, huh? Looks like Savid here is gonna have to show you first timers how it's done.
He... he killed it? You bastard! Hey, it was a Hellion, and Hellions belong in Hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it! Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. So you're a seraph who murders <laughs> his own kind? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? You knew I was the shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a hellion. Who else would you be? The name's Zavid. Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle shepherd. How dare you! The spirit crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. But plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid, what is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap? So we can gobble them right up! Whoa, hold up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, alright? That's enough, okay? You're the one who attacked us! I said I'm sorry already, sheesh. I'm not your enemy. Let's call a truce. Deal? Fair enough. There's no reason for us to fight. See? Somebody here has their head on straight. And besides, we're all part of the same team in the end. Know what I mean? Are we? Sure. I don't plan on becoming anyone's sublord. Zavid. All right. All right already. I'll leave you alone, your shepherdness. It's Saray. Sure, sure. Saray the shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds on malevolence. <clears throat> I can't respect someone like that. A Seraph who would just kill a Hellion. Yeah. It's sickening. Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Just a moment. I want to bury them. Saray. He feels responsible. Let's go, Miklia. Lila. from the Assassin's Guild? Why would you be after me? Do you realize how disturbed the people have become? With someone like you running around pretending to be the Shepherd? Huh? But I mean, I am the Shepherd! Care to prove it, Shepherd? As if you could. <sighs> Ready? Ready? Such strength. Ah. 
We should run. Something's odd about this. You're right. They don't seem to be Hellions. Agreed. If anything, I think they're intentionally giving us a chance to escape. I wonder if they'll still target me. Let's go. Saray, what happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested. But there are people suffering right now, because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There'll be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Please, forgive me. No need to apologize. Saray's usually so predictable. Very true. I predict we'll talk later, Miklio. What is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape! The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong, or malevolence. <sighs> but... It's just like with Gramps. The lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. Dragon is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you Edna? Oh, Edna! I can't believe it! You, a dragon! Nope, guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? So even my voice no longer reaches you. He's coming. Run like the wind. Is she the Seraph you were looking for, Lila? She is. Does this look like the time to chat? Move! Is there a school you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. And so you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you? I'm sorry. <sighs> so? Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Saray. We need you to lend us your power. We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge, so it can be repaired. No. Huh? I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's, Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But, Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition. 
but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once a Seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying there's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. I guess our cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. The more important thing is, we can't leave her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her.